you, if you know a couple of years where the beach top and the rocks start we've moved on I would say about 500 meters a little more maybe a little bit more Daniel phoned me in a frantic this morning telling me how nice the water looks and that we cannot cannot not go fishing this afternoon he picked up a whole bunch of red bait that washed up and I cut some so he said I don't even have to worry about bait but uh, so we're getting ready but there's no Daniel no bait yet so still give him some time he said half past he'll be here it's not half past yet but yeah I hope I hope this guy can keep it up and actually produce with regards to the commitment he made I brought some other bait I'm definitely gonna throw for a brusher as we know well as it's known in Italy yeah white muscle cracker bean back or vit biscop those by many names but still fights the same game a hell of a fight always a good fish to hook and I've got some uh, armadillos for that and we might combine it with a bit of red bait once once it gets here I think the red bait might be mature by the time Daniel gets here and we won't mature bait well he said he matured it for three days already um, so we can double that by two when he gets here so let's hope we can put some edible fish on the on the on the dial for you guys today this whole area of uh, Jeffrey's Bay from where the rock starts all the way to the main swimming beach a few kilometers I would say Yo, I want to guess probably four kilometers it's all rocky reefy area but you throw in sand in the back and a lot of these spots all very popular surfing spots so be considerate for the surfers as well and uh, just running you through this little Hulyun trace uh, I'm using a size one Mustard uh, ring chinner, no, yeah, ring chinner, sorry, and then I'm going to use a three ounce nylon grab so that it doesn't trip. Uh, a lot of times I would use the, the steel grapnel, but I don't want it to trip and then wash too much, although the sea is not too strong, so I might switch to it. But for now, I'll start with a nylon grab. I'm using the Kingfisher Quick Clips, this is a 30 pound which is fine for this type of fishing on the other one I use a 50 pound and this is a very thin leader it's 80 pound JDB leader I'm still fishing the Salters 12 foot 6 uh, light spinning lovely lovely blends that have been on the market a long time and that's uh, it's got a Goza 8000 or 6000 sorry Goza 6000 on there uh, just plain Maxima 50 and 55 on my hook snoot and these little 10 mil floats and we'll use red bait on that and Bob John we're going to use a, a latex cotton the thin one when we fish for these fish and on there on the armadillo I'm not going to use cotton just wing it so I'm going to put that rod out quickly and see if we can have an armadillo of a white muscle cracker on the line before Daniel's son arrives Felt rather like a, a big, uh, well, you know, black tail than a, or a very small muscle cracker, but a nice pull and then pulled me into the bricks. Often, with a bit of patience, you will get the fish unstuck and still landed, which was the case here. That is a size of black tail. This must be my PB. Hey guys, look at that. Huh? Beaut. Absolute beaut. Yeah, but I want to take a photo as well. Okay, 
Okay, let's, let's go release this. This is a granddaddy. The bigger blacktail aren't uncommon in this area and normally averages around 31-32 centimeters but specimens over 40 centimeters have been caught on this stretch of our coast. Hey guys, put on some red bait so let's see uh Let's see what we look. This area is straight stretched reefs that go out quite far and this whole section of Jeffreys Bay where the rocks are is exactly like that. Going out quite far into the sea luring in a lot of different rock species. When this area is sanded up obviously there's not a lot of fish caught but when it opens up nicely it doesn't take long and a variety of species show their face. It wasn't long and Daniel got stuck into a nice muscle cracker which unfortunately got stuck 10 meters in front of him and he ended up losing it. Daniel's caught many muscle crackers in this area and this is just one of the prior sized ones he got a few months ago. species of Kalyun that we're looking for but anything will do right now One way or another, we'll get them out the water. They're getting bigger. For some, it might look funny chucking a whole yun back like that into the water, but that is the correct way, as was explained to us by tag and release officers, to throw a whole yun back in the water so it gets a bit of a shock factor to wake up and swim away. Oh guys, look at those beautiful colors, eh? There we go. Oh, she goes. Unfortunately, the water ran out rather quickly, leaving us with very few bites and deciding to call it the day. But we had to come back to the spot and give it a good run again. Okay, guys, so two days ago was a bit of a teaser. Daniel lost that nice uh, muscle cracker. And he arrived before us now, two days after yesterday, it was just rain, so we couldn't come back. So a lot of color in the water, I suspect it's from all the rain we received. Um, the tide is uh, probably about six o'clock high, half past five. It's now half past two, so it's a good uh, three hour session we can put in till high. Um, he already had a Khalyun, he came just before us and couldn't help himself and he already had a Khalyun. There's a photo. Ding! 
but uh, again guys thank you for watching remember to subscribe to the channel and like the video we're going to do our best today to get some proper fish in jeffrey's right here where everyone comes on holiday where everyone surfs we're going to try and get some kalyun and some cracker you don't walk further than 300 meters What we do with this little piece of dacron over here i see a lot of the guys when you walk up and down the beach they tie their nylon with their mono sinker tray straight to the sinker itself now what happens is when you reel your sinker in this front piece knocks against the rocks so there where you tied your sinker onto that knocks and chafes the next throw you throw your sinker off so what we do is we put up a little piece of uh, dacron onto it it doesn't have to be very long just make a knot on it cut those tag ends off and then you tie your sinker trace to the dacron itself so even when you're reeling it in you're coming through the bricks where we're fishing over here now there's, there's plenty of structure terrible places to bring it in it doesn't knock onto your sinker trace so it just helps for the sinker to stay onto it a little bit longer guys what's been happening is uh, I get stuck quite quickly because the water is still low and it's shallow where we're fishing they're feeding shallow so I've opted for a bigger float so when the bait gets less and your hook is more proud you want it a bit more up just not to get stuck as often so just uh, most of your cotton using the thin latex most of the cotton is here up top this you want fluffy this is not very matured red bait <laughs> this is uh, probably why they don't commit as well they're feeding they're picking up they're feeding in tough to hook them so let's see if we can uh, get some success today Jay hook in the corner of the mouth. Well, at least a 
different species or Cape stunt nose. Daniel and Tyron really climbed into the blacktail with the odd banded and villa pad in between. 54. Be black tails today. Still fun. <laughs> On the elusive Holyun side of things, we were still hoping and trying. Another one for the day. Wait, wait. Little black tail was hoping for a Halloween all afternoon and I uh, stopped getting their bites. It's only really black tail. Changed to a smaller hook and uh, started getting them. One time big muscle worm. Okay, not a whole yun still, but <laughs> this big eats it properly. Now that's drop just uh drop just gave me a muscle worm and on like a scon. <laughs> Just guys, it's the end of the day. Well, for me at least. Right, guys, that brings us to the end of today. Um, I didn't have uh, the hookup right, the rest of the hooks did. I fished slightly bigger and I fished to the back more hoping for one of those uh, Halyun and then eventually I had to join the team to just at least get a fish so there's, there, there were quite a bit of black talent some really nice ones we've caught here that one or two days ago I got a 39 Tyron got one of 34 today um, there's some really good size so all in all a nice day afternoons fishing keeping busy I broke off for my lighter rod, so I fished the, the five, the championship five after that. Also nice and light, but uh, yeah, you want to actually catch the blacktail with those really light thick sticks. Um, Daniel had that white one he was using, which is awesome fun when you when you're fishing for these uh, blacktail. Gives you a good rip with the with the waves and the water as well when you catch that size. So, but thank you for watching, and uh, yeah. Winter is starting now and we're hoping to get a, quite a bit more edible fish on the board. So remember to join us, remember to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification button to be notified every time we upload a video, if you haven't already. And like our videos, that really helps us. Thanks for watching.
say that a bucket will as well. Just gonna cut, as well check if it's in here. Now here we join Michael just a bit further down from where we were fishing also having similar formations. In these rock formations there's certain spots and gullies that just produce certain species more often than the rest. In this session, there were quite a few really good size villipada or villipad caught by some of the other anglers using fresh red bait. Daniel, Michael and Tyron was using the more matured, resulting in more blacktail. It was clear on the day that the bigger villipad was preferring fresh red bait, obviously cut in this area on the same day. Daniel was lucky enough to hook one of these really, really big builder pad that was around on the spot. In conclusion, the nice part about this whole area is it can surprise you in every session, throwing really good sized specimen of a variety of species every so often. All it takes is time at the water. Thank you for watching ASFN Fishing. Remember to like the video as this really helps us and also subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell notification button to be notified every time we upload a video.